imagine you're lighting a room with identical light bulbs, same brightness, same everything, but one of them looks dimmer. What does that tell you? It's further away. Today I'll talk about the cosmological and mathematical evidences of dark energy. Let's break it down. Astronomers use this trick with exploding stars called Type 1a supernova. They like cosmological light bulbs, always the same brightness. That means if they look dimmer, they are further away. But in the late 1900s, something wild happened. These supernovae were too dim, further than they should be. It was like the universe wasn't just expanding, it was speeding up with expansion. It's like walking on a treadmill and it just starts going faster by itself, something pushing the universe apart, stronger than gravity. That force, we call it dark energy. Scientists calculated how much matter and dark energy there is in the universe. And when they added it up, it was almost exactly one. That total tells us the shape of the universe. If it's more than one, then it's like curved, like a basketball, universe will eventually collapse on itself. If it's less than one, like a saddle, then it will keep expanding forever. But if it's one, it's flat, perfectly balanced. And guess what? The universe is flat. And that's a big deal. Flat geometry only happens when the total energy of the universe balances perfectly. Then came another check, the cosmic microwave background, the universe's baby picture. Satellites map tiny variations in space and confirmed the same thing. Matter plus dark energy is equal to a flat universe. This means that the pull of gravity and the push of dark energy are in perfect cosmic balance, like the universe is playing tug of war and it's always a tie. If dark energy wasn't exactly right, galaxies, stars, even life couldn't exist. So, is the universe fine-tuned for life, or did we just get lucky? Let's talk about fine-tuning and cosmic design in the next videos. For more, check out Atheism Delusion book by Ahmed Al-Hassan.